hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to extend uh, views in the odoo using the position as a replace and in case you missed previous discussion about how to inherit a view using a position as a insight so let's check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo with different topics you can visit the playlist in the playlist you can see odoo development playlist also available with different topics and the vi task cases here you can see plus you can see editor level tips and the python level tips and if you have any doubt and you need any support you can go to about page in the about page you can send your query to this email address all right and all the source code also available in the github and if you want to support this channel you can use in two ways like buy me coffee or the paypal or using this join button let's back to our main topic like how to use position as a replace and what is the purpose first let me understand more about the position as a replace like let's say here let me refresh the page all right so here you can see i want to completely remove this id in the form view not only the form view or list view like you can replace any fields or any content from the specific view that time we can use position as a replace all right so this is the main purpose of this position option so let me go to in the pie charm let me open that view here and you can see i already created this module especially for the inheritance purpose and our last discussion was the position as the inside right if you don't know about this one you just i my suggestion is you can first check this discussion also so let me comment this one and let me try to add here the basic schema like this Hire UI dot view here. Student view form extend. Student view form extend model school dot student inherit underscore ID ref. ARCH architecture and the type is the XML right and this is a complete our basic schema of the HTML site now we are ready to extend any views here right right now I'm just trying to extend this form view let me extend so first thing is I will use this ID here before the ID I will use the dot I will copy this module name what is the purpose of this one I already explained in my first session of the view inheritance please check that one also and yeah now we are good to go to replace any of these fields here so let's say I want to remove this page like this is the, this page all right and if you see here in the front end side you can see this one this is a black blank page so i want to remove this blank page here then what i will use like i will use xpath expr page and i will use like this id equal to page 3 why because you can see here i provided here the id as a page 3 and if you want to remove right this one so we have to use here replace as the option in the position attribute so this is the main thing and main purpose to use this replace as an option so let me upgrade the module i already upgraded this module like this and i already configured this one like this already so if you don't know how to configure like this to create a different project like this i already explained everything in the editor level playlist so you can just follow that playlist 
all right and now i'm going into the front end side and trying to refresh the page now you can see the third option is invisible the page is removed right so basically if you want to remove some content that time it will help now like let's say i want to remove the button oh, sorry this id field you can see this id field so for that one like i will use here the field name id and position as the replace like this <coughs> i will try to upgrade the module and you can see this is the id this one so i'm trying to refresh the page wow so you can see it's remove that field all right plus one more thing is you can also add using the x path like this field name equal to id and the position like this if you want to use alternate option in the x path you can use like this all right in this both case are the correct one it's up to you now like which one which option you want to use all right so let me go to in the front end side now you can see it's already removed right so it won't be also it won't be also display here that id field so now like let's say not only the replace like replace it won't be always remove the field there is a one more also use for the replace let's say like you want to completely remove this field or let's say you can see this name field all right here here you can see this is a name field you want to add also extra attributes here with the name field or like let's say you want to just override this field or let's say the rewrite this field one more time that time you can use the replace like this position equal to replace and here instead of the closing tag you can see here we used like this right always but here in our case if you want to add some other contents like this like name required equal to one field name equal to write that or like let's say uid so here it means first it will remove this field in this position current position in in the current position it will add these three fields all right so here it means like it's not always remove the specific field or like let's say the specific content but it will also override the behavior of the specific field you can also do the same thing you can see i also did the same i remove this field i override the same field here but i used here the extra value required equal to one and if you see here in the front end side this field is not required like this you can see the color the background color is you can see like this now i'm trying to refresh the page and you can see this is a name and these two fields also added after this don't confuse here so this is i just overrided in the backend side fields view gap method so after this name field it will display this one so, so if you want to update this schema also in the python side that is also possible using fields view get method and already this functionality and this discussion is available in the playlist all right so i hope you understood about this replace option in the position attribute i hope you understood this one and in case you have any doubt related this discussion please comment below and see you in next session